Okay, I apologize, those of you I invited here for just taking so long to get this done. Had numerous little setbacks. Took a while to figure out the proper way of doing things. And it's trying to hit a moving target. The design keeps evolving and improving. Come to some pretty considerable considerable conclusions. They made some considerable improvements based on their conclusions. Made a lot of mistakes. This this is one. This is a mistake. See, all this, this all this bullshit is a mistake. It was a valid design. Economically, technically, it did work. It has one weakness. It has two weaknesses actually. It's more expensive than it has to be. And the wind resistance would leave something to be desired. At first, maybe not. But after this PVC pipe would age a few years, and 80 mile an hour wind gusts come up, then you're probably talking some damage. So I found a better way of trying to keep the plants from falling through the holes in the aeroponic rack. I had the thing built up to where I was going to have one of the four foot by four foot deals, and this was going to be one of the four pallets of two foot by two foot, drilled all the holes in it and all that. I was going to polyurethane it, and this was going to sit on top of the pallet. Four of those on top of here. It's four foot by four foot. Then I realized there's a better way of keeping the plants from falling through the holes. So all this basically was for nothing. I wasted ten dollars plus I was going to paint an astro in all these stupid holes. One stupid mistake after another. But such is the case when you're trying to prototype something new. The manifolds. That's wrong, what I should have done. I mean, this will work, but I'll never do it this way again. What I should have done is drilled the holes in, taken a piece, a PVC pipe, about an inch long or so, small diameter pipe, just bigger than a diameter of the vinyl tube, stuck the tube into that, flanged the end, and then PVC cemented it into the hole or screwed it into the hole with thread. You live and you learn. This here, this is a definite mistake. The pallet is valid. We'll take those. Because that is basically the only part of this left I'm going to use. The rest of this. you don't need walls and you don't need a roof all you need is a box all you need is a box because of the better way I found of doing this the one I'm building because all these stupid mistakes is going to cost me probably five hundred dollars by the time I'm done but the next one assuming I'm lucky enough to get the box as cheap as I did probably cost me about a hundred and twenty about a hundred twenty dollars and I will get $2,500 worth of produce out of it. Basically, it's just a concrete box made out of concrete and poured, concrete cinder block and poured concrete, or papercrete box, or epoxy and sand box. What I'm going to use is a couple of refrigerators. I found two twin matching refrigerators, and that is what I'm going to use. which kind of sucks, it presents another drawback because I had already had four foot by four foot made. I had two screen racks for the roots and then one of these made. And now I have to resize it to five by five and a half feet, but it's gonna be worth it. Growing strawberries, it's $1,350 worth of strawberries, assuming the best conditions, nine plants per square foot, four pounds of strawberries per plant, three dollars a pound for the strawberries, and if I was to get a 100% yield, which I won't, it's one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars, sixteen square feet, four foot by four foot pallet. Five by five foot, on the other hand, is two thousand seven hundred. I mean, realistically, I, you know, 
a thousand, maybe eleven $1 hundred dollars worth of strawberries for this, four foot by four foot, and two thousand five hundred and fifty maybe for a five foot by five foot. Just that one little extra foot is going to make all the difference. So it's worth it. It's going to be another delay. Yeah, so I made two of these, four foot by four foot. Only to find out they're not going to be the right size. Luckily, I know how to make a 120 degree angle dual 4 foot by 4 foot billboard out of those 4 foot by 4 foot frames. So I'm just going to retask the frames and build me a couple of new ones to accommodate the 5 foot by 5 and a half foot space I'm going to be working with. I'm just glad I didn't put the screen, the epoxy to screen on them. What I'm going to be doing here is using this. I have a special order to this from Ace Hardware. Deer X DX7. DX-7. This cost me about $24. Special order from Ace Hardware. About three quarter by three quarter inch mesh plastic screen. Polyethylene UV stabilized. 7 feet by 100 feet for $25. It's not bad. I was going to use 10x399896, but this is a way better deal. Now this mesh here is going to be stretched over that frame. Actually, not that frame, but the 5 foot by 5 and a half foot frame. I'm going to have two of those. And those two are going to be sitting on top of my box. The better way is to have a taller box and have those recessed about 4 inches into the box, 6 inches into the box. But for my demonstration model, it's going to sit on top. This is what's going to hold the roots. The roots are going to bond to this, and they're going to bond to each other, forming a solid mat of roots. And the wind will not be able to take the plants any more than they can suck the plants out of the earth. It will be just as resistant to the wind as plants in dirt. If you've ever tried to transplant a plant, a root-bound plant from a small pot into a big one, you know there's no hope of ever getting that dirt out of there. The plants contain a natural polymer that bonds to the dirt. It will also bond very nicely to this screen. At the end of the year, let the roots dry out, or at the end of the season, let the roots dry out, and they'll just brush right off. Or you take a weed whacker, as long as it's a polyethylene line on the weed whacker, and just whack the weeds off the damn thing. So I'm going to have these two screens underneath, and then the pallet going to sit on top. There's, this is going to be epoxy to the pallet. This is a four foot by four foot. If I was to do a four foot by four foot, I'd take a four by eight foot sheet of this and epoxy it. Four foot by four foot with a four foot by four foot flap hanging off. So basically that and then the seed carpet, the cardboard containing the seeds goes on top and the flap gets folded back over the top of it and secured down.